I'm going to build a foot draft of 11 players who have won the Copa America. I get three attempts to do it, and if I don't build a full starting 11 of Copa America winners, then I'll discard the greatest footballer of all time. We are here for attempt number one, and if you want to see me build a foot drop of only Euro Championship winners, you can click right here. I'll put it here for you. So if you want to watch that first and then come back to that video, be my guess, it's right here. But attempt number one of building a foot draft with only Copper America winners, let's go. What formation? I want at least a center forward or like a striker or a cam, because Messi won the Copper America, if you didn't know. My Copper America ball knowledge might not be as good as my Euros ones, because... I don't really remember that many winners, but right here, we have one chance only because... Oh, wait. Okay, no, Costa Rica never won the Euros. I just got excited because he is in the Copa America. But obviously, none of these players did because they're in the Euros. Rivaldo, I assume Brazil probably have won a many Copa Americas in their time. And Rivaldo is probably part of one of the squads. All right, Rivaldo was part of the 1999 Copa America winning squad. I hope he didn't get kicked in the face in that tournament too hard. But we have a good start. Our captain has played in the Copa America, unfortunately. It doesn't matter about chemistry. I can play him at CDM if I really want to. But we'll get into our strike force first. So we're looking for Brazilians and Argentinians, mostly. And we don't have it unless Mexico... Maybe. Actually, no. I can't underrate Mexico. They maybe won it because Sanchez was a good player. They had Hernandez in their time. But they're the only non-European country here. So Sanchez, Maybe. All right, so Mexico have never even won the Copa America. They got to the final in 1993, but he would have been too old anyway, I assume. Maybe he played. He was 35, but it doesn't matter. He didn't win. I'll pick him because he's the only person who's played in the Copa America because the rest of European country players. Our second striker. All right, this one might be a lot harder than the Euros because we don't seem to be getting a lot of players who have even played in the tournament. These are all Euro nations again, except for Chris Wood. But New Zealand aren't in the Copa America, so I'll just pick Holland if he was a woman, because she kind of does look like Holland a little bit. But our first midfielder in the team, can we get an Argentinian? We can't. We get a Brazilian. Fred, we get another. We get a Uruguayan, so he has. Valverde has the chance of winning the tournament. But I think Fred maybe would have been in the Brazil team. Fred's poo. Why would he ever be in the squad? They won in 2019, but he wasn't part of the squad. I'll pick him because he's got a nice trim there. He has a very big forehead, but into our CDM. Give me like Casemiro EA. Yeah. Come on. Not can't. Oh, what is with the Europeans? Every single one there is a European. And no one has won the Euros either. Maybe Georgia Stanway or this chick, because the female, they won England back in the day sometime. 2022, I think it was. I'll pick you, because you're the highest rated there. But we had a very good start with Rivaldo, and it's not going well since. And we get... Oh, my word. McAllister... You should have been in that 2021 team. McAllister was in the World Cup team the year later, but he must have not been good enough for the Copa America team yet. And the rest, obviously, Europeans. I was, I thought that was a chance, because obviously they're the most recent winners, and he's a good player, but unfortunately he wasn't good enough at the time to make the team. Our camp spot, I'm not even going to check. There's, not even, there's no one to check. I don't know why I said that. There's no one to check at all. Because none of those players can even play in the Copa America. They're all Euros players. Once again, it seems like a common theme in this video. Roberto Carlos, you had to have won the Euros. There is no way you were part of one of the Brazil squads. All right, Roberto Carlos was part of at least the 1999 squad. He probably was part of more. But that was the one I had because he was the Rivaldo was in that team. So welcome to my team, Roberto Carlos. The Brazilians are carrying right now. Rivaldo, get in the starting lineup. You can play Cam anyway, so it doesn't matter. But our first centre-back, can we get... Can we go on a roll? Two in a row. That is... Oh, should I include women's? Bremer. I don't think Brazil have won for... Oh, 2019 Bremer. I don't remember if you even existed. Should, I don't know if I should include women's, but I'll have a look at Bremer. All right, Bremer wasn't even alive in 2019. He was still in his mother's sack. And Brazil's women have won every single Copa America for the last 500 years from what I saw. So I'll pick Bremer because he's a Brazilian and maybe he'll win it this year. But our second centre-back, come on, give me like Anna Militao. Eager Eddie, come! Oh my word, what is this? There is no one there again. I'll pick Cola because he won the Euros and he was in my Euro video. Into the right-back spot. Cafu? No, you're not there, are you? No, we get Rule. She, why are you there? You're a non-rare. You're not good looking, so why are you popping up there? Again, they're all European nations except for Masraoui, but he's an AFCON. 
I'll pick Scott because she looks bad in the picture. But our goalie to finish off our starting 11. Can we get Allison? We can get Allison. He was in that 2019 squad because it's right on my screen right there. Allison, welcome to the team. Starting 11, we've got three from 11. All Brazilians, obviously. We haven't got one Argentinian. Argentinian. We got McAllister, but he didn't win it. Maybe this Donny was part of the Uruguay squad. I apologize for my disrespect to Mr. Enzo Francis Scholli. Uruguay won the Copa America in 1987. And this man was in the squad. I apologize for calling you this Donny, whatever I said. Francis Scholli, you are my favorite footballer to ever exist. Because you played in a Copa America winning team. But our second reserve spot. And we're pushed back down to earth. Because again, we don't. Oh, I might. I'm taking the piss here. I don't care. I'm going to see if Angelina won the Copa America. All right, this might be considered cheating, but Angelina was in the women's 2022 Brazilian winning Copa American team. So I'm picking her. I don't care. She's counting to the tally. She can slide right in instead of Fred. A Brazilian for Brazilian. Because she won the Copa America. And right now, oh, wait, I need to put you in. Francis Goli, go there. I've got one, two, three, four. I've got five winners. So five out of 11. I need six more. There's quite a few picks left. And we get Ronaldinho. I'll make double check just to make sure my ball knowledge isn't the most poo thing in the world. But I assume you're in the team. We are on a roll. All right, Ronaldinho was in the 1999 team at 19. This brother is such a baller. I'm so glad you popped up there. Sorry, Sanchez. You're out of the 10. We have six now. We're over halfway. We got the whole bench left. Some reserves. And the vibes are all downhill because we get Lucas Podolski. We get a World Cup winner. But no one else helps there. Turkey can do a skill move once in a while. All right, so I think we've... All right, we've got one more reserve spot and pretty much the whole bench. Can we get one here? We can't. I don't know why it took me so long to register. We get puss gas. I don't know. You do nothing for me at all. None of these players even play in the tournament. But I'll take puss gas. He's 96. All right. We got pretty much the whole bench. Can we get a Cup of America winner here? Di Maria, you were definitely in the 2021 team, but I'll double check just so, because that's what good people do. And how a Di Maria was in the 2021 team, as expected. McAllister, you're going to have to make way. So the whole start, like the whole upside of the pitch is Cobra America winners, except for, so one, two, three, four. We need four more from, I think, six bench spots. Come on here, give me some Brazilians. No one is... We don't get a Brazilian. We get Gattuso. Probably won the Euros. Kudos, baller. I'll take Kudos because he's a baller. But how many spots do we have? We got four spots left. We need four Copa America winners. Is EA on my side? Let's see. EA is not on my side. We get a Euro winner. I think Janola was. We get Xavi Alonso, who was a Euro winner. But it's not possible anymore. I'll see you all for attempt number two. Uh, attempt number two. What formation? I don't know why I keep like bringing tactics into the formation. Who gives a shit? Four, two, three, one, wide. Why not? Come on, yeah. Give me Messi, Dino, Benzema. No, not what I wanted at all. No one here can possibly win a Benzema. Go on the bench. Oh, why are you even taking up a cam spot? You're just not needed there. Our striker though. Again, Colum no, we already checked the women's one. Brazil won them all. Not a good start unless Vélez snuck his way into the Argentina 20 2021 team, but I highly doubt it. What a surprise. Vélez wasn't in the 2021 team, as we all expected, because he's Argentinian, he's Argentinian and Messi probably doesn't even know his name. But into the left mid spot, can we get Dino, Rivaldo, not Leal, not Foden, not Riley McGree. Rafael Leao, yeah, because Portugal might win the Euros this year. Come on, EA, yeah, give me a Brazilian legend. Talisca, you're not a Brazilian legend, but you might have been in the 2019 team. All right, this is a terrible start. Talisca was not in that team. Cole Palmer is cold, so you can get into my team. We have five picks so far. We have four picks so far, and not one person has won the Copa America. Can we get Cafu, Zanetti, Somebody, a eh? Oh my, what is this? What's with the English Donnies? Lawrence. And oh my word, Trent. Because I don't even know. I have no reason whatsoever to pick you. Come on, yeah, give me Casemiro. 
Not Tyler Adams, USA. Why? Oh my word! No one here has won the Copper America game. Yeah. What are you doing to me? All right, second CDM. Just give me a Brazilian, an Argentinian, or Mike Lessian. No, no one again. Like none of these players have won the Copper America, so stop giving me them. It's a cool card. He's team of the year icon. But we had a whole team so far without a single chance. And, oh my word, this is not going up to scratch. Ryan Sessignon. No reason whatsoever to pick you. Can we get Annabella Tau? Carlos Alberto? Someone? Gabriel? Surely you were in the 2021 team. Please, I need some hope. I meant 2019 team, but it doesn't matter what I meant because Gabriel wasn't in it. I assume you're in it this year and you might win it with Brazil. Our second centre back, Annabella Tau. Oh, Lucio, come on. I'm cheering, I'm celebrating really early, but Lucio, from what I know in FIFA, he's an absolute baller, so surely he was in the squad. Lucio was never part of any Copa America winning squads. I might as well just go to attempt three at this point, because this is not going well. We don't have one, do we? No, we don't even have one. We have 10 non Copa America winning players so far, and we don't get Allison. We get Lev Yashin because he's got a nice hat. I'll pick him. But this is going to be the worst start anyone has ever had to a foot draw challenge. It's not looking good, Bev. It's not looking good. Please! Gonzalez. Maybe you're in the 2021 team. We've got one! Nico Gonzalez was part of the 2021 Copa America Argentina winning team. How many spots do I have left? One, two, three. We've got about, I don't know, I can't be bothered counting. We have about 10 spots left and we have our first one. So, I need 10 more. Bobby Firmino. I think you're in the 2019 team as well. We could have to do it our own. Bobby Firmino is a Copper America winner. We've got two. I'm not even going to swap anyone. Let's keep the momentum rolling. Come on, yeah. Give me Messi. Yes! Well, look at this. Oh, we get two in one pick. What is that about? Why Messi and Deba are in the same pick? But we get a Euro winner as well with Chiesa. I called my theory Messi. All right. Can we get four in a row? It's the unheard of. Ronaldinho. Mateus. I don't think you're in the 20, 20, 2019 Brazil winning team, but you never know. Mateus ain't no Copa America winner, but at least we have three so far. I don't think it's possible, is it? Yeah, because there's seven bench spots. We don't. Have, we have three. Oh my word, it's not even possible. It legit is impossible. I'll do the seven out of pity because I'll just skip them and get through them quickly. Oh, actually, what's the point? At least we get a Euros winner, the root bullet. I might as well just go to draft three for you guys, because what is actual the point of doing this? I don't know, Jeff. We might be coming off the worst attempt of all time, but can we do it in attempt three? Can we get 11 players who won the Copa America, or is this just an impossible challenge? 4-2-3-1. Brazil, Brazil have a lot of cams that are icons. Come on, yeah, just bless me. Give me one here. Ronald Dick, that has got to be the worst two players you can get in a captain to begin with. I thought I was about to be all non rare captains, by the way. But, Ronaldinho, you're already verified. I don't need to take any time checking. Go at Cam. Oh, you can't do that. But our first Cam, come on, Rivaldo. Someone, a Brazilian again. Yes, Kaka. I'll make sure, but this looks like a very good start. I hate this man. This brother decided to take a rest from football in 2007 when they won it and never got a chance to win it other than that. Oh my word, I thought I was onto something. I thought it was the best title of all time. But he just decided to sit out because he said, fuck his country, let me just have a rest. And he didn't win it in 20, 2007 or whatever it is. Our second camp, Bobby Cholton. I, you're obviously European, you're not winning, I'll pick you. Unless this woman it was in the squad, let's just bring females into it, why not? All right, even the women are letting me down at this point. She wasn't in the squad, I don't know why I expected it. I don't even know who that is. But at least we get two... Got lots of like ones, which is cool. Oh, Rivaldo! Come on! If Kaka didn't have a rest from football, we could have three Brazilian camps. Three of the best Brazilian players of all time, all sitting right there. But no, you needed a rest because you got sore legs. Our striker, come on, on, on. We don't get on, on. We get Borja, who I guess Colombia do have a chance at winning it this year. Obviously, Velez. I swear you didn't even... I swear he was on a different team last time. I'll take Borja because he's the Copa America card. But, come on, just Casemiro. I actually don't know any other CDMs who have won it. And that is... No oh, Rodriguez could have been in the 2021 team. Guido Rodriguez was in the 2021 Copa America winning Argentina team. 
So, so far, we've got three out of six with 50%. If we can stay like that the whole time, we will get it. Our second CDM. All right, we're not going to stay like that the whole time as it looks because we've got Scott McTominay as our second spot. Give me like Capu, Carlos Alberto, Molina. No, we don't get any of them. We get Pedro Porro. Like, I swear we, we had this tick last time because I called her ugly. We had Mazzarelli last time. Ben White should be on Love Island. We'll take Pedro Porro because his highest rating looks cool. Our first centre back spot. Can we get a Brazilian? Another icon. Pazella. I'm pretty sure I saw your name when I was looking through the squad. Alright, this is the ultimate shithouse, but your first name's German. German Pazella was in the 2021 Argentina team. I don't know how I've got these two. Real betters Donnies who have somehow been snuck their way into the team. But our second centre back, can we get another one? Oh my god, Marquinhos. I think you're in the 2019 team. This is going to be the biggest shithouse of all time. Alright, Marquinhos was in the 2019 Brazil team. I say shithouse, but Marquinhos is an actual good player. I assume he would have got minutes. Look how good this video cut is, by the way. Holy moly. If I was actually playing the draft, I would not be passing up him. But Marquinhos has a good card. And he is doing everything he needs to do for me. Because he was in the 2019 squad. Our left back. Give me Roberto Carlos again. We don't. But Alexandro, back in the day, was a baller. And maybe wasn't a Brazil team. Alexandro was in that team with Marquinhos. We are running riot right now. Another Copa America winner. What's that so far? One, two, three, four... Five, six. We could have had seven, but no, Kaka had sore legs. I've got to skip past that. Okay, fair enough, Kaka. You needed a rest. Footballers do a lot. But can we get Allison to round off the starting 11? We can't, but we get Emmy Martinez, who was definitely in the 2021 team. Because we all remember the brother during the penalty shootout. But I'll just double check. Just so I don't look like an idiot in front of everyone. <laughs> Emmy Martinez was in the team. I just had to double check, just in case... But that starting lineup has five, seven Copa America winners. We just need four out of all these reserves and the bench. Just four people have won it. Stop giving me this, Donnie. All right, I've seen you so many times today with your little chubby face. I don't want you. And Doi, sure, why not? Because I like the car design of the Euros part of the glory. Give me another Brazilian or Argentinian. They are carrying Molina. I think you're in the 21 team. Come on. Nahu Molina was in the 21 team. What a ball. I don't know what else I can say, but Pedro Poro, just move out of the way currently because I have eight Copa America winners. I need three more. Just three. All right, we're not going to get it there because we've only got Euros players. No one has can even play in the competition. Come on, two more reserve spots left. Just one here. Yes, Messi, the GOAT. Come on, we're going to do it. Messi, go in instead of Kaka because he's got sore legs. I just need two more players. A CDM and a strike. It doesn't matter where they play, obviously. But can we get someone here? Akuna! You are probably in the 2021 team. I'll make sure. Akuna, Akuna. Big star world groom you. He was in the 21 Argentina squad. For to move out of the way, all I need is a replacement for Scott McTominay. And a six bench spots. Comedy 8. Do not let me down now. Just one. He done it! And we do it! With the first chance. As we've already seen in the video, Francis Scully has won a Copa America competition. Scott McTominay, get out of the squad. If I put you there, we get chemistry. Look at that, 30 chemistry as well. Let's say we can get a team with 33 chem. Can we get like a Casemiro or someone like that? No, words. I don't really care anymore. I have done it. It doesn't matter who the last four spots are. Probably, no, it doesn't matter. We are not gonna get another one. And to be honest, I could not care less. I have 11 winners right there. My favorite footballers of all time, right in the one squad. Bon Pasta, just, I'll oh, just, whoever it is, it doesn't matter. I might as well just skip him because who can. Capu! Another one. Capu was in the 1999 team, I think it was. Molina, sorry, you've been replaced. And our backup goalie, give me Allison. Just, no, we get big ball, Pepe Reina. But we have a team of 11 Copa America winners, right? We have 12 because we've got Molina on the bench. Look at that. That means I don't have to discard any messy special card because I've done the challenge. So that's, I've done everything you could have asked me. So make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and comment any other draft videos you want to see me do. But until next time.